Hello guys, Luke here with Motion Page. Today's video is a little bit different. It's not a tutorial today, but more of a, an overview of the update that we've released. Now it is in beta, so we don't recommend installing this on a live site yet. Now, if you do have any issues with it, we do encourage you to contact us at our intercom and report any bugs that you might find so that we can fix them before the final release. So like I said, I'm just gonna show you a quick overview of some of the new features that we've implemented. So as you can see, we have a new trigger called mouse movement. And this comes with many options. You can edit this on the axis or by distance. In this case, I'll be using axis. And then you have the X and Y. I'm targeting the image here. And as you can see, when we move our mouse, we get this nice animation effect. So a really cool effect there, a mouse movement to trigger. Another new addition is the motion path. So here we can select uh, an SVG. Now in this case, I've just made it black so we can see it in action. Obviously you can make this transparent too and animate uh, an object along the path. But all we have to do is select the SVG path and then just make sure that you've selected your element here. And as you see, when I scroll down, we can get this really cool effect using motion path. Another small addition to the scroll smoother is the speed value. Now before we'd have to do this manually, but now with the update, it's right here in motion page. So you can control the speed of your smooth scroll. Some more cool features right here in global settings. You'll notice we have more options. Um, a really cool one is if you hand over motion page to a client, then we now have white labeling. So if I enable this and then click on the arrow, you'll see that we can control the name of the plugin, the description, the author, and then also you can also choose your very own icon to go along with it. So as you can see with the white label, I just changed some of these fields. I gave it a description with my own name. And I've also uploaded my own icon. And as you can see, when we go over here, now motion page has the uh, description there with the author. And then also you'll see here, we have our customized icon. And on top of that, we have client mode. So enabling this will just mean that you can hide motion page from the client. And in order to regain access, you just need to enter a license key. But these two combined make it perfect for a handoff to a client. So there you have it guys, a huge update. Um, there's a lot more features that I'm gonna put on the screen right now. This video is just scratching the surface as you can see. And like I said, if you do encounter any bugs with the beta, please report them through our intercom and we will work on those internally to bring you fixes and a, a polished version of 2.1. If you've got any questions, please do reach out to us. We are always happy to help and we'll be back with another video very soon. Thank you.